What's up, YouTube? It's Pastor Bob. So, I have a real patent pending Comet Tab 2. Now, these are rare. These clutch, these uh, talking converter setups. But I wanted to put it on it because they are the original, right? So, I put that on it. I got it all straightened out. I'm going to try firing it up for the first time. We'll see what happens. Let's see. Let's see what we do here. Let me make sure you guys are watching. Oh yeah, you guys have got it. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see what happens. That's there. That's there. That's prime. Let's give her a yank. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that's what's up. I think I put a too, much, too much lubricant on that chain though. It's the stuff that we put <laughs> But, oh well. I think I'm going to put another, uh, what I want to do is put another bracket here. I don't want to do that. I want to put one more bracket here. I got one here. But I want to put another one back here. That's what I'm thinking. But, she runs. Sure. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, got to that level. Let me tell you. Getting this torque converter in here? Oh my lord. You have no clue. <laughs> that was crazy. That's all I got to say. I think one thing that I do want to do is put a little shut off. For some reason, I think that this gasket's kind of chinchy up in here. So, I'm going to change this gasket, this carburetor. And sometimes that happens, you know, they don't seat right or whatever. So, I'm going to change that. Check that out. And I'm going to put an inline shut off on this, I think, too. So, outside of that, I think she's all right. But I've seen a little flex in the plate. I don't know if you guys seen that or not. So it's just a little bit of flex. So I think if I put another piece there, tighten that up there, because I have a piece that runs across the bottom, I think I'll be pretty good. I think it'll be okay. Runs good. Sounds great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She sounds good. But... You know, when I'm doing something, I want to make sure that it's right. Especially if I'm going to sell it, I want to make sure that everything is cool. Now, I am going to get a different torque converter because this one here is, they're like two or $300 now for the original ones. But I did want to put it on it to try it out to make sure that it was going to run okay. 
but I do have a new top converter coming for it. So we'll clean it up a little bit. Need some touch-up paints and stuff like that. I still got the brake line to put in it, which I'm gonna custom make that because I want it to run down the inside of the rail and then jag her out and come back and then hook into the brake. Lots of little things to think about when you're uh, when you're building a go kart, and you can easily overlook them. Anybody can easily overlook it. I don't care who you are, how long you've been doing it, because here's the thing: guys who've been doing it a long time, they generally get headstrong. So. Because, you know, you think that you already know, you know, people interrupt you, come in, talk to you, you know, ask you 10,962 freaking questions that they could have answered themselves, right? But, you know, you're polite, right? You portal with them, and you answer their questions. The only problem is, if you don't stop and write down exactly where you were before they came and started talking to you, you might find yourself, you know, forgetting something so if people ask me well if people are coming to talk to you all the time what's the secret to not forgetting anything and I said I'm going to tell you this you either don't talk to people when you're doing it stop write down where you were at what you were doing all right what it should take a couple minutes hey right, look one thing that I learned guys is taking a couple of minutes just a couple of minutes to write down what you was doing, where you were at on whatever project you're doing. Just a couple of minutes can save you hours of time. So, like my Uncle Steve used to tell me, my Uncle Steve Burdick, he used to say, Rab, you got your notebook? You got your pen? Write it down. When I talk to you, write it down. So what I tell people is, you know, that I don't think that my uncle was wrong there. If you get in the habit of carrying a little notebook around with you or something, you write it down. For one, you know what you was doing. You can remember it. You can write it down. Maybe it's something new that you figured out, right? Write it down. And two, you're not going to forget where you were at. <laughs> and I think that that's really important. Maybe I'm old. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But one thing I do know is if you write it down, hey, you wrote it down. You know where you're at. You don't have to worry about forgetting to put that boat in, get out there and do something. You had everything else perfect. You've got that one boat. It's like I noticed that, you know, the carburetor was leaking a little bit. It's not right now. But what happens is sometimes they have to seat themselves. Sometimes from the factory, brand new engines, right? The bowl can be a little sticky and it has to work itself in I know those things but I'm still gonna go inside that carburetor and look I'm still gonna check that seat you know the seal out it's just things that you have to do you don't say ah don't worry about it no it's not leaking I can see that but still all in all I'm gonna go in there and check it out I'm just that way so. anyways it's getting there guys hope you enjoyed this little short video uh, shout out to my brother George, making sure he's having a good day, CLMK, and um, my friend Joe, because I know Joe's been having a good week of it, but it gives him an excuse to feel bad towards his wife, and his wife to feel bad for him, and give him a little extra loving this week. I know what he's up to. He ain't fooling me any. I got your number, bro. <laughs> Dev season, shout out to you, and shout out to all my subscribers. Hey, you guys are up to something, you, you know, you run into a problem, or, you know, want to know what I might think, which really doesn't make a difference, but maybe you're running into something during the day. Shoot me an email, you know, leave me a comment. I go back over them from time to time and look them over, so 
you know, don't feel bad to do that. All right? Like, share, subscribe. I love you guys. You know, push the little bell thing so you can get the ding dong when I'm going crazy. All right, guys, I love you. Take care. See you soon. Who knows what I'm live streaming? Could be tonight, could be tomorrow, who knows? But it will be definitely Sunday. We'll see you guys. Take care. Reverend Bob is out of here.